Okay, here's my uh, Colt 1911 National Match Series 70. Um, my dad gave me this, jeez, 20 plus years ago. He uh, gave it to me to use at national matches for uh, at Camp Perry. Love this gun. This has been Idaho elk hunting. It's been all over. Um, it's been to Alaska with me. It's a great weapon and a great tool. So, very, very accurate. Okay, let's check it for clear. The clip out. Clear. Okay. There's the other side. Serial number is covered. Protect the innocent. She didn't want her name put out on the, the net. As you can understand, she's shy. Alright, let's uh, strip this thing down. I mean in a nice way, baby. Okay, let's break this thing down. Okay, I use guide rods on all my 45s. Um, function well. They uh, make the slide function that much better for me. Um, I've used them for years now so you can buy a regular guide rod kit it comes with a, a spring retainer everything at Midway or Brownells or any of the popular popular uh, gun parts places okay bring it back And you have the guide rod, it's all one unit. You can strip it down if you want to just clean this half. Just works real nice. And this is what we're gonna change out right here. This uh recoil buffer. And it is uh if you look at this one, it's beat up pretty good. It's well overdue. So I'm gonna take Allen wrench. This is a two-piece guide rod. You see him? I'm threading it. Yeah, put my hand over it because things will go flying. beat up. I'm going to take this one out. Look at her. I'm going to put a new one in. Just like so. And she's ready to go back in. Okay, here's a Midway catalog 1911 recoil buffers. Eliminate damage to critical components with a buffer by preventing metal to metal contact of the slide and with the frame made of highly high density polyurethane formulated for maximum shock absorbing absorbing characteristics um, made by a number of different companies real reasonable so that's uh, insurance also you have them for out of Brownells you can get these at gun shows. Um, your gun shops can get them. And this is what they look like right here. Right here, a little, you can cut the little tabs off. And this is what a used one looks like. See how beat up this looks? You can only imagine the damage that these take instead of your 45 taking them. So. Just wanted to give you a little uh, idea where I get them. And I use the Wilsons. They're all compatible. So, 
Okay, the reason you want to change these is the ammo nowadays that you're shooting is uh, either hollow, hollow points, home defense ammo, um, military hardball. You know, this is uh, the cheap loaded stuff. You know, this is uh, Winchester. But you want to, uh, this is just like insurance for your gun. You have insurance on your vehicles, your house. Well, I'm putting a little bit of insurance in your your gun. Protect it. Got to go back in. Link pin down. Slide your frame on. Bring it back just enough to so you can see that pin come back. You see your detent hole. Right there, slide it in. Some will go in harder. This thing's been in and out millions of times. Another thing I've always had when I shot hardball matches, you know, President's 100 and stuff at Camp Perry, before I had these recoil buffers, I was always breaking this pin coming across here because of all the force. So, another thing is you want to check your. Uh, mainspring here, uh, your recoil spring, make sure it's the right size. Um, that could be a lot of your issues, especially if you bought it used from somebody. This is a good little magazine, or book. Sorry, magazine, oh yeah, brain fart. Um, I've had this for 20 plus years. There's specs and right here uh, for a uh, gold cup or government model 45 ASPs 5 inch barrel should be 32 coils right here here's a number for commanders gold cups with wad cutters 28 coils um, just a, a little reference this is got schematics parts lists you know, just numbers shows you how to um, polish stuff, trigger job, you know, tear things apart. This is very good, ma good catalog. Special, or God, what a brain fart today! Shows you how to cut your lugs. So, alright guys, I'm sorry about the brain farts, but...